Would you like to mass delete archive tasks or events to save money on data storage? Today we're going to walk through deleting archive calls with Storage Helper. To start creating your setting, click New Storage Recycle Job. Give the setting a name that's meaningful to you, such as archive calls, emails, tasks, marketing events. For this use case, I'm going to name the setting Archive Calls. I'm going to select Task. and put any notes in that give a description of what the job is for. And I'm going to click Next. Now it's time to add my filter criteria. I want to look for Archived equals True and add additional criteria for Subject equals Call. going to select my backup mode, I can either select to backup all fields for the records that Storage Helper will delete, or I can select specific fields that I would like to backup. And I'm going to click Next. At this point, I can either activate my Storage Helper job, or I can select to keep it inactive. I recommend keeping the job inactive until you've had a chance to preview records and verify that your criteria are correct. To preview the records you're going to verify, go to the Detail tab and click Preview Records. Verify that these are, in fact, the records that you would like to delete. Back on the All Storage Recycle Jobs page, I can add or rem remove criteria if I need to make any changes, or on the Detail tab, I can either edit or activate my setting. If you haven't already done so, you can configure Storage Helper to run automatically by clicking on the gear icon. From here, select Change Run Mode. And you can either select to run after a Salesforce data export or run on a defined schedule. For further assistance with this use case, please email sales at passagetech.com. Thank you for watching.